<laughs> welcome to the Disaster Artist right here. This project, D I Z A S T E R Artist. Follow, like, share, subscribe, all the fun stuff. But let me kick it off with what this is. Yo, yo, everybody, welcome to the Disaster Artist. So let's kick things off right off the bat. Who is the Disaster Artist and what is this creation? What is this brainchild, this project, this idea about disasters and artists? Well, let me tell you, first off, I'm an artist, entrepreneur, creator, studio head, creative director, brand developer, futurist, imagineer, been working with companies like BCG, Flipkart, Prime Focus, gaming companies, entertainment companies, advertising companies, helping them set up their studios and their creative projects and their innovation labs and teams so they can do some really, really cool stuff in the world. Being that creator, I have a whole bunch of tools that I go to art, design, copy, strategy, brand, thinking, behavioral stuff, tech tools, whatever it is to get their goals done and achieved. However, the Disaster Artist Project has been born and come out of a personal pain point of mine, which is I keep doing all this cool, cool stuff for all these cool, cool companies, but I don't take accountability and transfer that over into my personal life. Now I assessed this, I understood this, I tried studied with shamans and coaches and spiritualists and healers and energy healers and pranic masters and shamans and, and witch doctors and all kinds of people from all walks of life to understand why I'm not doing all the stuff that I need to be doing to transfer this over into my work. And I realized there's all this cool, cool, fun, inventive, crazy, geniusly creative excuses and stuff that I keep cooking up and brewing up and sitting and simmering in that prevent me from getting to my goals, that prevent me from taking action in my life. Well, there's so many times and opportunities that I had to set up companies to work on my art projects and tinkerings and just let my creative muse go, but I was stuck lost in thought, lost in doubt, making all these excuses, blaming other people, giving up my power and waiting for some venture capitalist to tell me that my idea is okay or some kind of you know, coach or guru or astrologer tell me that the timeline was right. And I realized that all this fun, fun, inventive stuff that I'm doing and all this outward reaching is actually preventing me from actually looking at the stuff that's really going on inside. All the stuff that's actually preventing me from getting to where I need to be. I want to get, I have these lofty goals, I have these aspirations and dreams of things that I wish to achieve and I keep not taking action on them. And that's a disappointing place because every day you're faced with yourself and you're faced with this disappointment and now it's building up and I need to really take some action. So the Disaster Artist Project is really an exploration of how I am being a master disaster artist in my own life, how I'm cooking up my own disaster in a creative, artistic, sophisticated, luxurious, pimp, pimp way. I keep doing all these ex things and excuses that prevent me from getting to my goal and I just feel like, yeah, that's just me, that's just who I am. No, enough. So in this fun, quirky format, YouTube type series, videos, online shows, whatever it is right now, this is an exploration of me trying to get moving in the world. And you guys get to follow my journey and see all these fun, inventive, creative excuses that I make up to stop doing the work. And all these, all these, all these roadblocks that I hit, I come up with creative ways to circumvent them so I can get back to my lazy ass comfort zone and not do the work that I need to be doing. So that is not going to fly anymore. And that's a little bit of background of where I'm from, what my pain points are. But this project is really to share with you guys and follow along in this journey because just like I'm being a disaster artist in my own life, I'm sure you guys are cooking up some really inventive excuses and you have your own secret sauce of disaster like I have my own secret sauce of disaster that I keep going to that prevent me from getting to where I need to be. So maybe some of that stuff tallies up and your list and my list are the same and we're like best friends on that level. but. We ain't going anywhere. We're best friends are just sitting back and letting life coast by. And that won't fly. So bye bye to that belief, to that, that behavior, that pattern. And you guys are going to keep me accountable. You guys are my trainers, my coaches, my, my audience. You're going to help me 
and understand and explore with me why I do this and how and what it takes for me to get out of this. Am I motivated by pain? Am I motivated by pleasure? You guys know that for yourselves. How are, am I good at time management? How do I get there? Am I good at, do, is it a skill gap? Is it a behavior gap? Is it a thinking gap? What are the things that I need to collect to get me to my goal? Because those are probably the same things that you guys are looking at in your lives too. So this project helps me get my ideas out into the world, share my process in my business ventures, in my personal development, in my life, and keeps me accountable to get my goals going week after week. Kicking off that process, I had a chat with my coach and we realized after a whole bunch of work that you know I'm pain motivated versus pleasure motivated. So that means I'm sadistic instead of creative in that way. And uh, instead of while we work on changing my motivators to a gain state, I'm saying, can we use this to actually get me moving? He's like, hell yeah, we can use this. Why don't we come up with a whole bunch of ways that you can torture yourself if you don't meet your goals and your audience will be even more thrilled to hear you or see you torture yourself as opposed to keep up with your personal journey. Actually, they may just come to see you torture yourself. You guys are pretty sick that way, I know that. You probably show up just for that. But the good in me thinks that no, you're here for some, some lessons and recipes and theories and ideas that will actually help you get out of your own situation as you see me struggle to this. I thought I was alone in this, working by myself, the world is against me, blaming other people to realize we're all in the same collective conscious soup of crap. If 80% of our thoughts collectively are negative and 20% of them are positive, well, 80% of you guys are gonna have the same issues that I do, but in your own creative, inventive ways. And I'm gonna to try to work through mine. You guys are gonna help me work through mine and possibly get some insights into the ways you wanna take your life and where you wanna take that. So as a result of this pain motivator, the first project that I'm declaring, so this is a declaration out into the world, I promise to bring you this disaster artist series week after week with fresh, engaging, entertaining, bite-sized scoops of exploration, social experiments, theories, tinkerings, tools that I've been using to get me going to my goals, to get my businesses going, how I cut down all these ideas and distill them into one solution, how I break down my goals, how do I, or not, or how do I come up with these excuses to get there uh, or not get there. And, uh, slowly slowly get to where I need to be going and break away and those beliefs and superstitions and blocks in my mind that prevent me from getting to where I need to be. So as part of this challenge I declare and give myself and my girlfriend full permission to wax my body if I have not completed my first set of videos by December 30th 2020. So that means I'm going to take them live on YouTube and there's going to be on Instagram as well. So tune in to Disaster Artist with the Z D I Z A S T E R Artist. And you can tune into all the fun and engaging stuff from a self help, art, spirituality, music, entertainment, advertising, creative branding, social experiment, behavioral psychology perspective, where I bring my antidotes and, you know, theories to just break myself free and be my own boss, be my own man, be my own creator in this world, to take my power back and be who I really need to be in this world. Not comparing myself to other people, not hating on people, none of that jealousy, greed, envy, bullshit, just the pure uncut me, right here, for you. So, that being said, you know, I woke up this morning and saying that, hey, you know, it's a really nice day and uh, I'm feeling really good in my body, but let me check in on my horoscope or my taroscope. And I sat there and I kept looping through those videos and seeing that, oh shit, there's, an, it's a, it's, there's a bad outlook over here. And you know, I gotta watch out for some relationship issues and I gotta watch out for someone trying to take some money away from me or the, some planet, you know, just not being in alignment today that got me all frazzled and realized, well, here we go. Why do I keep giving my power away? Why does it matter what these random YouTube videos even say? What these astrologers even say? Why can't I just do what I want to do? It's a nice sunny day. Why can't I go to the beach and really just enjoy myself on a Sunday 
without me getting in my own head, screwing stuff up. So like this, there's a whole bunch of beliefs and a whole bunch of superstitions that I carry that prevent me from getting to my goals. And I learned these beliefs from my family, my friends, my teachers, and they act out through me. It's my conditioning, my childhood, my inner child, my whatever my patterns are that are in me that I need to break free from. And so this first topic of exploration is really superstitions and beliefs. I want to understand what are my superstitions or what are my beliefs that are actually preventing me from taking action in a lot of ways. What are some of the most de debilitating beliefs that I have? And in this exploration, it's not just me. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of people out there in the world that are, that are challenged by their superstitions. Some are entertaining and, and fun and, and lighthearted. Um, you know, like black cats crossing the street or belief in Santa Claus that eventually ends up disappointing us at one point. But at some point, I have to shed these outdated beliefs, but it's my responsibility to do that and to undo all the programming that's been done on me so that I can come from a true, authentic, tabula rasa, clear kind of space so I can live my goals out, build my dream out that is true and honest and authentically me. So the first topic is superstitions and beliefs. Join the exploration as I talk to people, understand through social experiments and break down my own belief systems and uh, look at some of the, my top three disaster superstition recipes that I keep going through that keep debilitating me. So stay tuned for the episode one, superstitions coming right at you. This was the quick intro video, which is not so quick, but it gives you an insight into where I'm going, what I wish to create and come join the journey for some fun, fun, fun stuff. The Disaster Artist Project, here we go.